Hi, I'm Samet. I am a senior diversity and inclusion communications manager at Zalando, and I identify as queer. My favorite color of the rainbow is probably white, because I like how in color theory, white contains all the colors of the color spectrum, and so it contains all the colors of the rainbow. And I also like that white in the, in the pride flag stands for gender fluidity, and that's a concept I can really identify with. Self-expression means, to me, living your authentic self to the fullest without compromises. I feel like a community for me is a place or a collection of people, a collective, I guess, of people who share a common trait or share common beliefs and who are shaped by these beliefs or by their identity and therefore stick together and create belonging amongst each other. I've definitely, I've gained so much from being part of the LGBTQI plus community specifically, because in this community, I found people who gave me hope by just existing and by representing. And I will never forget how just a few years ago, I met someone who was a queer person of color and Muslim in Germany who was successful in life and, and open about who they are. And that inspired me a lot. And that inspired me to also hopefully be the same representation for others who are, who are yet to come. Uh, as a public speaker for diversity and inclusion, I, I work with a very wide range of organizations on really a, a plethora of, of diversity and inclusion topics. So that ranges from raising awareness on unconscious bias to making sure that the content companies produce, the advertising companies produce is representative of society. And in my work, I always make sure to ensure an intersectional lens. So making sure that the approach to diversity and inclusion is holistic. And I always make sure that we center or I center the experience and the reality of marginalized communities. I think, um, I think intersectionality has become a very commonly used term and rightfully so because it acknowledges that identity is not one dimensional but, but complex and simultaneous and that forms of discrimination can actually overlap. And on a very personal level, it has given me the vocabulary to express how I experience the world as a person who is both queer and a person of color. And it also has given me the vocabulary to express how my surroundings view and treat me and how I navigate this, this reality accordingly. So, um, Diversity and inclusion, it's a field that is new for many of us, right? It, it, is a, it is a new profession, so to say. And because of that, I think um, I realized in my job as a diversity and inclusion communications manager, how important it actually is to make sure that we talk about the same things and understand the nuances and the terminology. And so actually a few months ago, I started a series on LinkedIn called DNI Nuance, where I explain commonly used DNI terms such as diverse, intersectionality, BPOC, LGBT, and what they really mean, right? So what can be diverse and what, what cannot be diverse. And it really showed me that in the pre preparation of these posts that I was able to expand my knowledge also in, in my role at Zalando as a communications manager for diversity and inclusion. And I also think it will help to shape a very fruitful discourse in, in the diversity and inclusion field or, or profession. I'm inspired by the people who have paved the way. And I'm also inspired by the people who are yet to come. And for me, those two are equal because we're standing on the shoulders of giants and the incredible work that they've done, which has given us the opportunity to shoot this video in the first place. And at the same time, I feel a sense of obligation for those yet to come to continue this work even if it's in a 
very small and, and personal scale. I think what is really crucial to support other members of the LGBT community, and again, especially those yet to come, is that we do not assimilate, right? So many people ask me, why are you so open about it? Why are you so open about your identity? And why are you so vocal about it? And I always say, because if we all assimilate, then young LGBT people will never feel comfortable in a society that normalizes and naturalizes heteronormativity. And we need to keep the community open and we need to show up in sol solidarity so that we can make sure that those who are yet to come feel welcomed and, and accepted.